Hi everyone! Today I got the V course here from Yonix and I got four models. The first model that I'm going to try out, actually I'm going to just to have some sort of benchmark baseline. I'm going to use the racket that I'm using as, and I've been using it in some of my other videos to kind of compare how the racket's way up to them while I'm using a sensor that kind of gives us a little bit more objective feedback as to like which one has more spin, speed and just like I think about 11 metrics on the Qmate app. This is the Pro Stuff 97. I'm gonna hit with this one first, and then the next one I'm gonna hit with is the V Core 98, then the V Core 100, the V Core 95, and the 100L. What Yonix did, they have made the sweet spot a little bit bigger over here by the head. It's a little bit thinner here, but that makes kind of sense if you make a racket for spin that you would like it to be a little bit wider in sweet spot. You have the silicone grommets that is helping with more control and having it to be a little bit more softer. I did hit with it before and I really liked it. It was a great racket for spin and it came through really nicely. I kind of want to say before Maybe I should say it afterwards. I will let you know afterwards what I think in comparison to my 97 V13 that I'm gonna play with first and so we can get some benchmark data from Qmate. I'm my pro staff here and this is my solid racket, my go-to racket. I can do with this racket what I kind of want. I can place it cross cord, go down the line. I can do, oh, maybe use my legs there and do a little bit short angles. You know, it goes where I want it to go. Okay, so I just hit 44 shots on Qmate with my Pro Staff 97, which is a baseline benchmark for, um, you know, just to see what are we comparing this new V-Core 98 with. Let's give it a go. Well, right off the bat, definitely is a lot more springier than my pro staff. It also has that kind of, I don't want to say a low profile feeling. Uh, you have to maneuver the racket to come over the ball a little bit more. You have to. So if you're somebody who has a really fast swing speed, oh, see I didn't come over on that one. I think you're gonna like this racket. I can definitely feel the sweet spot in the top part of the racket compared to my pro staff where it feels like I have to hit a little bit lower. With this one, you can hit more higher in the racket. And I think that is more where the sweet spot is. It's slightly higher in the racket. I just hit with my 98 V core and uh, previously, the previous set, I played with my Wilson Pro Staff 97. And let's see how Qmate is doing. Let's go to ball spin. All right, so the first set is my Pro Staff 97 and the second racket is the V core 98. You can clearly see that the spin is way more on the V-Core, which is kind of expected. Uh, let's look at the ball speed. Okay, even the ball speed uh, is, is getting there a little bit more, but I kind of want to say almost similar. Sweet spot. So sweet spot seems to be just a tiny little bit less. Uh, the head speed, definitely faster on the V-Core. The timing, I was, this is very interesting. So the timing is clearly, consistently, I'm hitting the ball more in front with the 98 V-Core than my Pro Star. The racket drop, I had to drop the racket a little bit more on the V-Core as well than the Pro Star. Arc length, very similar. Let's see. Together spin and speed coefficient, the V-Core is definitely higher than the Pro Staff. And on the openness here, surprising. I, I almost felt like I had to close it a little bit faster, but it seems like maybe because I was hitting it more in front of me that I didn't have to. So it kind of stayed kind of open as well. Very similar. Peak acceleration, uh, very similar, uh, very similar. Yeah, so I think the biggest difference compared to my Wilson on this one was the impact timing. 
and the spin, obviously. Between the difference, what I found with the 98 is that if you like that kind of low profile feeling from the pro staff, but you want to be able to generate more spin, this is kind of a real, this is a really nice racket that can go with that. It, it, it's built for spin, but it's definitely going to be an upgrade to spin from a pro star, for instance, which is a precision racket. So now play with the V Core 100. Let's see how that weighs up to the Pro Stuff 97 and the V Core 98. All right. V Core 100. Oh. <laughs> Woo! I have to say, I don't know if it's because I'm a little bit older, but I kind of really like this 100. This, wow, I hit so much faster. I really had to generate, I had to put a lot of extra own power into that 98. I feel like this is a change because from the older versions, the 98 was way nicer for me. Um, with this one, feels like it's fitting maybe my swing speed a little bit better. And the sweet spot. Definitely a lot more power. I feel like I could swing away. I don't have to control it that much on my follow through. Yeah, this is, I like this one, my opinion. I think I like the 100 better than the 98. I think the, the feedback is more on the 98 because if you misheat it, you misheat it. But on this one, you can misheat it just a tiny little bit. <laughs> Maybe not like that. You can miss it just a tiny little bit. And it feels okay. All right, this old lady is still kicking. I just hit with the Vigor 100. Let's compare it because what I did is I played with my Pro Staff, Staff 97 V13. Then I used the Vigor 98 and now I'm on the Vigor 100. Hit nicely in the middle there. Let's go to spin. Huh. Well, interestingly enough, I got the least amount of spin with the v 100. That could have fooled me. <laughs> I actually thought, so yeah, that's a surprise. Let's go to the speed. The speed was also slightly less. The sweet spot was the best. So I guess that makes sense because you have the 100 square inch, you have a better sweet spot where the pro stuff is a 97 and the other one is a 98. It can be an age thing or it can just be pure science. <laughs> then let's look at timing. So interestingly enough, when you look at timing, so just to explain to you what timing is, if you hit, if it's, if it's lower, lower, you hit it more behind you. If it's higher, you hit it more in front of you. And so the comparison between the first one, which is the Wilson, the Pro Staff, and the, the 100, this seems to be the same. And the 98, I had to hit it a little bit more in front of me. It's probably because of the swing speed. It's a little bit faster because it's a 315. Yet again, the Pro Staff is a swing speed of 310. So I am, it's interesting to see how that worked out. Let's look at the racket drop. I had to drop the racket the most with the 100, maybe because there's a little bit of, I don't know, a little bit of mass maybe. Let's look at the racket drop. This one was the most racket drop, the vehicle 100, compared to the others. Arc length, very similar. The v cores definitely had a little more arc length than the Pro Stuff. Energy. The most energy, I, I was using the most energy with the Vico 98. Uh, the speed and spin, the highest performance when you take speed and spin together was coming from the Vico 98. Back loop openness, very similar, slightly more open on the 98 Vico. And then if you look at the peak swing rate, the Vico 98 one, the peak swing rate was the highest on that one. And then if you look at the swing rate timing, so where it's the fastest for the in front or back, was the highest on the 100. Peak acceleration, very similar. And peak acceleration timing, this one was a little bit more in front. 
Very interesting. See how the 95 is going to weigh up to those three. Yeah, you have to, it's definitely heavier. I think this might actually fit my swing speed a little bit better because it's closer to my pro staff. A little bit lighter, but I feel like it kind of goes short a little bit. So I really have to use my legs because my balls are going a lot short. Let's see if I can go deeper. Uh, see, and then I fly a little bit. So going deep and coming over is a little bit tougher. It's a very solid racket, but you have to generate power. You need to have a fast swing speed, fast arm to be able to really get the benefit of this racket. For a, for a person that really wants to crack it, use a lot of spin, because it goes fast on the snap, for instance. If you want to snap it, I'm out of breath, but I'm going to keep going. We got the, I just tried the 95. B core. It was slightly heavier than the 198. Let's see how it compares with my pro stuff and the whole thing. If you've been watching the whole video. Let's go spin. So just a little recap here. You have the Wilson Pro Stuff 97. You have the V Core 98. On the second set, you have the V Core 100. And now you have the V Core 95 on the fourth set. So spin-wise, slightly more than the 100, but less than the 98. Very similar to my pro stuff. Sorry, ball spin, speed. Ball speed, I actually hit the ball the fastest with this 95 out of all of them. And it could be because of the extra weight. And also just maybe it has a little bit more flex than my old pro stuff. It just has a lot more kind of springy power that comes off it, feeling to me anyway. Sweet spot. Yeah, there were times that I didn't quite keep my, I don't know if it's because me getting older, <laughs> Um, but it was much harder because it's a 95, so the sweet spot is just not that big. So if you get a little tired, you are going to hit it a little bit in different places of the racket. That's just, that's why people play with bigger head rackets these days. Head speed, the 95 one, it's the fastest in the head speed compared to my pro stuff and the other two V cores. Uh, impact timing, probably because of the speed, I had to start a little bit more behind me. The hip was like, Again, the lower it is, the more you hit closer to your hip, and that's what helped me to, to generate more power, but not necessarily more, more spin. Racket drop, very similar than the 100 and the Pro Stuff, not much difference. Arc length, I definitely had to hit out more longer with it, and maybe, it, again, it's a little bit the extra weight that goes with it. It is 10 grams heavier than the 100, it's 5 grams heavier than the 98. So energy. I had to use the most energy with this 95. <laughs> Back loop openness, very similar to the other rackets. Swing rate, slightly more than the 100 and very similar to the 98. Kick acceleration, very similar. And very similar. So not much difference. The main difference being that I was getting more speed from this. To try, so. it is the Vicor 100L. I'm gonna, I started a new set on Qmate, we're gonna do another 40 shots and then see how it compares to all of the other models plus my pro stuff that I usually play with. Let's give it a go. Well, it's definitely lighter, I can feel it. And, uh, but I somehow I was getting, I'm getting more depth with this one than I did with the 95. It's probably because I can, my speed is, traveling a little bit more but I have to work hard because this is a, because this is a lighter racket whoopsies uh, whoopsies <laughs> yeah this is way too light for me <laughs> but I can see again if you like the feel of a pro stuff wanting more spin and the other rackets are too heavy this would be a great racket to try but you have to maneuver you got to maneuver this racket don't don't try and just be too nice i just finished hitting with the fourth v core the 100 l and let's see how it weighs up to q mate so let's go directly to spin all right so what we had here is the pro stuff 97 we had the v core 98 the V-Core 100, 
the Vico 95 and the Vico 100L, which is only 280 grams, so it's a lot lighter than the others. The spin was surprisingly very similar to the 100, interestingly enough. Let's do the speed. It was slightly more speed, ball speed, than the 100, interestingly, but less than the 95 and the 98. Let's look at the head speed. The head speed, yeah, it's up there. I mean, the, for the performance, this racket was actually not disappointing for performance-wise. So I, if, you, if you're really struggling with the weight of the other ones, this would really be a good racket to try because it's not compromising. And you can see how I had to hit a little bit more in front of me slightly, and that's purely because it's so light, so it was just coming through a little bit faster with the same speed. Because I was trying to hit basically the same speed with all the rackets. Racket drop, very similar to all the other V-Cores except the 98. Arc length, very similar. Spin speed coefficient, similar than the 100. Openness, this racket is the winner for having to open it the most. Not quite sure why that is, but with most rackets, if you want more spin, you have to close. So with this one, I had to open, and that's probably why I didn't feel like I had to like force the depth. It was kind of easy for the racket to just go forward and, and get the balls to go deep. I really had a hard time with the 95 for the balls to go deep. I had to really change something in my technique. Peak swing rate. Yeah. The peak swing rate was the lowest of all four rackets. Swing rate timing, the same thing. Acceleration was the lowest. So the peak acceleration was the lowest with this racket, the, the 100L. Timing, very similar. Verdict here. All right, everybody, that was it. I tried, like you saw, I uh, played with the pro stuff. I did the 98, the 100, the 95, the 100L V course. And I want to say, Performance-wise, the 100L did not disappoint, so don't throw this racket away. And I want to say the 100 was the best for sweet spot. And I want the one who had the most spin was the 98, not surprising. The one who had the most speed was the 98. So there you go. I hope that helps you decide uh, about V-Course. Go give it a go. Available at Zales Racket Sports.